I'm like old school fucking Eastern European. Like I have cash buried in the backyard shit. Okay, so I am actually right now in Sweden. Um, it's really early in the morning. It's still kind of like not quite bright outside. Basically, I went from one place uh, in London to another in, in Sweden. So I didn't even get an opportunity to like debrief on everything that happened um, with Gary Vee. You're a fucking idiot. But basically, while we were there, we learned so much. It was insane. It was like um, the amount of just like insight that that team was able to provide for us, it was massive. I don't know what to tell you. We were able to ask any question and got a really honest answer. That was so fantastic about this. To really answer your real question? We actually got to talk to like Gary Vee's personal brand team, people creating all of the content for Gary Vee himself. This one's especially for John mostly, um, hey, but um, I'm hanging with D-Rock. And Andy. And Andy. <laughs> D Love that. Gary V, guys. Um, we got to meet Gary V, obviously. What up, AJ and Smart? It's me, Gary V. I'm here with the gals. Have the best day of your life. <laughs> and ask him any questions we actually wanted to ask. He's like, he came in in his like very Gary V style. You know, he was like, "What's next?" Well, that's a good thing. It was, uh, it was a bit intimidating. Now, Laura and I were very well prepared. We prepared like, just like mountain of questions which I don't think is a problem so I'm gonna go through the top three things that we got from meeting Gary V. I am okay with this so number one my favorite thing that basically was said in the whole day was when uh, Gary Vaynerchuk said that everybody should be working on their personal brand unless maybe you've like murdered somebody The only reason not to build a personal brand right now, for real, is if you're doing something terrible in the shadows of society. <laughs> yeah, okay. if, you're, if, you're, if you're cheating on your husband, yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you've raped somebody, if you stole money, like, the only reason to not build a personal brand today is if you are currently doing something bad. Yeah. <laughs> because as you get awareness, You'll get exposed. And let me tell you why I'm so happy to push everybody here on building a personal brand. It is the best asset to have during a shitty time. Because mm -hmm. you'll be able to get a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what, yeah. what will work for you by building an HR personal brand is, God forbid, when it all hits the fan, IBM still may hire you for 50 cents on the dollar of their last HR executive, but you'll be at the top of the list. Okay, number two, you shouldn't be afraid of selling. Like for us, this was a huge one because we have grown quite a nice audience and a really cool community. And we were very apprehensive about selling anything to them. We kind of took on the philosophy of just like be super transparent, give, give, give. But you need to remember to, as Gary Vee says, right hook. I think you should jab, 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 right hook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, four, five, six, seven times in a row, you don't. Yeah. And then one time you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay to sell as long as you're not disguising it as you're trying to help people. Yeah, right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, I love selling. But just don't be full of shit. Like, yeah. I love when I go into sales mode because some of my fans get really mad. They're like, oh! <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I laugh. I'm like, no, no, I'm not making you buy this. I'm not one of those funnel people where you come in, it seems like I'm giving you good information. Now it stops. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you want the real, real good yeah. stuff, <laughs> put in your credit card and get the next two hours of this video. No, no, you're more than the. I'm pumped that people have never bought a bottle of wine from Wine Library, a sneaker from K Swiss, a 4Ds. Like, I'm thrilled. Don't even know. Don't spend a second on it, have no knowledge. Just know how big my audience is compared to my conversion, and I know a whole lot don't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even cross my mind. Got it? Yeah. When you give, you give. Yeah. When you sell, you sell. The last thing, uh, Laura and I asked about what it's like to work for him. Now, this was a big one because I think that there's a lot of people that think they know a lot about him or don't like him or have very strong opinions about him. I just wanted to know, like, you know, 
Is he this high energy all the time? Is he coming in and kind of like bulldozing teams and throwing ideas out randomly? And like, how does his team sort of take that on? And basically what we learned was he uh, is a big fan of radical candor. I love when people come with radical yeah. candor with me for two reasons. One, 25% of the time they're right. 75% of the time I can tell them what's actually happening mm -hmm. that they're confused by, mm -hmm. right? When you have an employee, like, we, like everybody here judges me, but they have no context. And it's not their fault. I'm not, I don't feel stupid. I think I'm looking down and they're looking up. Mm -hmm. When you look down from an airplane at the UK, you can see a lot more than when you're in this office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I love it because 25% of the time they can see my humility and I'm appreciative and I can see their smarts and we move forward and it builds a real relationship. 75% mm -hmm. of the time it reinforces my genius or uniqueness to them. Mm -hmm. Because you take somebody smart who cares who's willing to give you radical candor and then you throw something at them that they never thought of and they're like, fuck, that's true? Mm -hmm. Shit, it gives them confidence in their leader. It's amazing. Like, I, only, I tell my company all the time, I want to be the reverse of the emperor with no clothes because the second you walk into my office, we want it. It's either going to be 25% you're 100% right, you can see my humility and acceptance, or 75% of the time you're going to walk out being more confident in me. Mm -hmm. What makes you guys want to work so hard for Gary? That's a great question. <laughs> um, trust. I think that he trusted us very quickly. With like in a weird way, yeah. like first weekend, he was. I didn't really know him. He didn't look about anything. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I just wanted to tweet. He's like coming to my office. Everything was like, I was blown away. I was like super pumped. But then he's like, yeah. Nate said his assistant. I was like, set Andy up with my access to my inbox so you can start going through emails. And I was like, he didn't know me. But like when he, like I'm seeing this, it just made me want to work harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. just like, oh fuck, like he's giving me this. I'm not gonna not do right by it. I mean, D-Rock D -Rock can probably make a lot more money than he's making right now and work a lot less. Yeah. But I think if and when that ever comes to the point, you just tell it to Gary and Gary's like, okay, let's go do that. And I can't, yeah. I can't because I've, I've been in like so many meetings, yeah. like filming everything, and I've just seen how good of a human being he is. Yeah, like, yeah but I'm like nice. setting up everybody to like, and like, there's people that I call him like not like from four years ago that he hired, and he still helps set up for other jobs. Those were the top three things we learned at uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's four Ds. Uh, daily digital deep dive. I have to say the experience was quite fantastic. It was like everyone in the room was really excited to be there. Everybody was showing us, you know, their their processes, how they do things, um, answering all of our questions. They were all super friendly, super knowledgeable, just like really competent people. And it was just a real pleasure um, to do it. I will say that I was pretty friggin' exhausted after the whole day. Um, I'm gonna try to convince them that it shouldn't be a day long. It should maybe be two days. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. I would love to know what your question would be for Gary Vaynerchuk. If you could ask him anything, if you had him right in front of you in a room, what would you ask him? Don't be afraid to like this video if you enjoyed watching it, and also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are documenting a lot of what we're doing. We're sharing with you uh, all kinds of information about you know, product design, innovation, working more effectively with your teams. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out there in Sweden and teach some people the design sprint. So that'll be fun, right? Swedish people are so nice. Okay, bye. This has been a waste of my time.